you're from Libya. Mm. It, you've got, it's a system of tri it's a tribal system. We're constantly told. Mm. Gaddafi comes from the tribe in Sirte. What's the name of that tribe? Um, what are they? How right, do they? Um, it, well, the main tribe. Well, because um, it starts as Gaddafi. Gaddafi. Sorry, Gaddafi will be uh, Australian and English. Find a spelling for it. Okay. That. And from that tribe comes up a um, larger family, so I'd say. Uh, so that's, that's the main tribe. So that brings out other small tribes, which is, uh, for instance, uh, Wumala. Uh, Khutara. Khutara. Khus. Ulad uh, Amar, sons of Omar. I'm I'm kind of stuck because these are all from the Gadadfa tribe, which are based in Sirte, correct? Ah, uh, yeah, at least most of them definitely. They they come around from Sirte and Sabah, but that is their area region. And Sabah as well. Sabah, yeah. Yeah, that's a long way away. Mm. But obviously, Gaddafi's name comes, comes from, from Gadda no, from Gadadfa. Oh. Yeah, definitely, because that's that's that. I mean, the, the the family line, the family tree is not really far from from here to here to these tribes. These people are brothers of the same man. But Their is everyone is from? Same. Is everyone called Gaddafi? Mm. Everyone is called Gaddafi. Uh, Gaddafi. Really? Yeah. So we we hear about it a lot. The term when you when then they 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 throw out and saying you know, this is Gaddafi or you know, like, to be fair, that's just the name of the tribe. The man. The man is very well known and has made a name for himself, so why don't you start calling him by his name or by his term? But his name is Muammar. His name is Muammar. Muhammad Abdul Salam, Ahmed Bouminyar, and Gaddafi. Well, it's a long name. Mm. Um, so, so all this time, the whole world's calling him Gaddafi, and it's ridiculous. Uh, the, the entire tribe, uh, each and every one of these, these, these small, uh, well, we would call houses, not an actual house, but a house with the metaphor term. To a family or a large family, um, so there, there, there's probably more than that, but this is the one that comes to my mind. Gaddafi then comes down to um, from uh, Kuz, so Gaddafi comes here. That's Gaddafi or Muammar comes from here, and then makes his way up there. So, what do you know of the history of this tribe? How did it become about? Um, well, the name. Oh, well, this. The thing is, it, it's not really well documented because it is near family family history. It's not really integrated into the system. So if you're part of the members, or you might be sitting in the same place where people speak, you hear about them, but nothing is confirmed. The thing is, we go back back in history properly around 100, 120 years ago. Uh, it starts off with a very nice man. Somehow he was called Gaddafi Dem. I, I, I do not do not want to say what the reasons he was called that, but because there are many contradictory, contradictory reports saying he was called that for a certain reason, he was called that for another reason. But we'll just say Gaddafi then. And from there, he was um, right. Um, they, well, his place at least were well, he had three sons or four sons or five sons or something like that, and they were called uh, Wumala, Khutri, Khos, and so on. Don't don't get me don't get me on face value. This is this is what is mostly. Spoken of in 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 the region of what, Syria and Sabha. Um, yeah, but they don't really speak about that that much because it's just that these these smaller tribes come back to Gidadfa and that's it. That's full stop. So there is no need for why that happened and why this happened. And and you're saying Gidadfa just started 120 years ago? Um, it could be. Um, this is this is like where Gidadfa Dam could, could started from. And I mean, we, we, we need to look into the idea that um, cultural and so on, uh, people marry at a young age, they, they, they have multiple wives, and so a family will grow up incredibly big within like, what, what, 15 or 20 years time, they will have quite a few children. And so, I mean, one family within two to three generations, they can create an entire tribe. Wow. So, 
we need to put that into perspective and how rapidly they and were these like was this Bedouin people? These these were Bedouin people. Um, nomads. Huh? Nomadic people. Nomadic. What do you mean by nomadic? Uh, they didn't live in one place. Or they just moved around in mm. the seasons well, well, by camel. Well, but the thing is, is like um, uh, the, the well, I couldn't say industry, but they relied on um, mostly on uh, uh, herding uh, camels and so on. So movement and where they be, where they'll be, well. They'll be stationed and so on. Will be depending on water areas or irrigation and so on. So, from Sabha, it was probably during the uh, from wars, uh, beginning of the World War War, uh, when Italy probably not in the World War War, First World War. But I'm speaking about when Italy moved into to uh, to colonise Libya in uh, 1911, and um, yeah, so people like were displaced, people moved across the borders, and uh, obviously there is, there's not really any, any actual borders between, between like Libya and Chad and Libya and Asia, um, it's just sand dunes and probably oasis. so they, they'll be moving between, this is like very, some old time ago, and um, yeah, so they were escaping the French in Chad, um, they were escaping the Italians in the north. This is in general about most Libyan families that come from the south and so on. But then, um, obviously, not all the family would move around. So you have a little bit of family down there, a little bit of family down here. And uh, the main point where most of the Gadadjah tribe comes from is Syria. Uh To be precise, I think, what is it called? Jaref. Jaref. I visited that place. Gaddafi's tent, that he was born in, still stands up until today. Still stands? Till today. What still stands? His tent that he was born in. Oh, the tent he was born in. Mm. So, um, he, he, um, it's all quite interesting. So, did this tribe, it kept itself separate from all other tribes? No, 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 no. I mean, the, the, the Libyan community is a very social, is a very social community. Uh, so, by nature, by nurture, excuse me, um, they would, uh, they would not be like, what, what, what did you describe them as, sorry? Well, segregating, keeping separate from other tribes. They would not separate from other tribes because some way, somehow, you might owe someone a favour or here and there. So, I mean, if, if a fight goes on between one tribe and another, probably a third party tribe will come in, fix it between everyone, and everyone like, has a meal on one plate and everyone's happy after that. No. And that's how the system, so there is always interaction between the tribe, whether it's good or bad. There was always interaction between the tribe. No, well, no tribe stays separate. I remember reading that Muammar Gaddafi married a woman from another tribe to China. It also helped uh, amalgamate Libya into one entity. So. Mm.